Morning guys, here I am in the car and we're at Billings today. I was planning to do when Max finished whining because he knows that we're we finished driving now and we're going to get out and do exciting walkies in a minute, aren't we? Yes. I was planning to do a sunrise walk this morning and show you the sunrise and show you lots of nice scenery in the sunrise, but it's raining and cloudy and misty. <laughs> I'm not sure how much we're going to see and we might get rained on. This guy can't wait to go up the hill already. I wish I could run up the hill that fast. You're burning off all that pent up energy you built up in the car, mate. The path gets quite steep here. Forgot to mention we're walking up Billings the sideway today. This initial part of the path. It's pretty steep, as you can hear by my voice. This bit's fun to ride your bike down. Perhaps when it's not quite this muddy. As you can see my, my boots here. We're already getting quite muddy. Not too bad though. These are waterproof boots, proper walking boots, so we'll be alright. Is that the top? It's not. <laughs> We've got a while to go yet, guys. Made it onto the paved bit of the path up the side of Billinge Hill now. Well, we're, this kind of joins up with the, the easy route for this bit. A little bit less out of breath now. Last weekend, all of our theme parks here in the UK closed for the winter now. So, no more theme parks until I think Blackpool Pleasure Beach opens up again on the 10th of Feb. So hopefully we'll get there for that, because that'd be good. And Alton Towers reopens mid to late March usually. Excited to get back to those parks next year. Now instead of roller coaster lift hills, we've got an altogether different type of hill that requires a lot more effort. It's good though, we're, we're doing the body good. Just keep thinking that. Not entirely sure how much we're going to be able to see at the top, judging by this. Is the top is over there and we can't even see it yet even though we're only a few hundred yards away from it now well let's go let's go find it as you can see it's been raining quite a bit around here recently so there is a lot of mud around and i'm very glad of my shoe choice today i think if i hadn't worn waterproof shoes i would have gone home by now the summit is actually over there and there isn't slightly shallower, easier path that you can walk up kind of through those trees over there. But we're going this way, adds a little extra loop onto the top of the dog's chewing his toy. Another extra little steep bit, because we love walking up steep hills, don't we? Well, this guy does. This, this guy just, he doesn't care as long as we're outside, he'll, he'll run everywhere. Never stops running. Well, I tell a lie, he does. He's either really full of energy or asleep. There, there is no in-between with Max. It's like some remnants of last week's fireworks night here. Someone decided to bring fireworks up the hill and then just dumped all the packaging, which is a bit rubbish. If you're gonna take fireworks somewhere, at least have the courtesy to take your rubbish home with you. The radio mast through there now, as this is the highest point in Merseyside, it's used for, well, there's quite a few antennas on the side of the hill there which provide mobile phone coverage and radio signal and all that kind of stuff. You can barely see it at the moment. <laughs> Just about make it out through the mist there. The higher up we get, the thicker this mist is getting. It's a boat in there. Let's store a boat at the top of the hill. This is an interesting place to store a boat. Doesn't look like it's seen the water for a while. Looking in pretty bad shape. Finally, we get our first view of the summit. It's been a long time coming. Usually you can see that from miles and miles away. Not today. All this mist around everywhere. Max wants to get there first. It really starts to feel like a, a proper hill, really. These rocky outcrops at the top. This is the point where I show you nice scenery and uh, many apologies but it's not happening today you can see the radio antenna sticking out above the top of the mist over there but we're not seeing much else visibility is really poor up here today with all this mist over there somewhere over there is liverpool and if we go around this way then manchester is over that way but we can't see either of them what are you gonna do it's england in november Expect mist. Gonna hands 
some doggy here, even though he's got dribble on his head. <laughs> you know, wreck that tie, mate. You don't want to ruin your tie, do you? The sky is starting to clear a little bit now. It's looking pretty nice, actually. You can see the next piece of high ground just poking him out over the mist over there. Still a lot of the mist over this way, but back over here, you see the sun catching the top of the cloud over there. Looking rather nice. Good for the soul being up here, isn't it, Maxi? And okay, you've taken my toy off me. It's not good for my soul. I don't have my toy. Oh no. Look at his face. That's a face that says, give me my toy. Please give me my toy. dramatic now I'd say. Really glad I came up here this morning. The weather didn't look too good to start with but that sky's beautiful. Just on the way down now, a very dramatic shot of the summit with the sunrise in the background, which is really nice. And look at this guy being really good here waiting for his toy. Go on, good boy, get it. Good lad. Here you're running down. Down we go. Probably concentrate on where my feet are going <laughs> rather than pointing the camera. But then you guys wouldn't be able to see. That'd be no good, would it? It's the old nuclear shelter, nuclear bunker is underneath that big concrete block in the middle there. You can see these four fence posts used to fence off the entrance, and eventually that big concrete block was placed over the, the hatch, the top of the kind of shaft that leads down there. It's been closed off for decades now. I don't think anyone's been down there for a long time because, well, you ain't moving that concrete block anytime soon. Have I lost any weight yet with all this strenuous walking? I don't think so. Uh, I'm trying to make a conscious effort to be a, bit, a little bit more active again. I've put on a few pounds since we came home from Florida, so just cutting down on, the, on life's indulgencies a little bit and getting a little bit more active again, doing some more strenuous walks with the Poochie. Of course, we have Christmas coming up very soon which Christmas and trying to eat healthily are usually not not good companions but I'm gonna try my best. Looks like we're on the road to nowhere. Who knows where we're going through the mist. If you look up though we are pretty much sitting on top of the mist now so we're, we're walking back down into the mist back onto the mud again. This bit could be a little bit slippy on the way down just take it easy and be careful, I think. I don't want to fall over. I've already broken my elbow once this year. I don't want to be breaking anything else. The car's only just down there. Another couple of hundred yards past that tree and we can't see it yet. Still very misty. Max is still very excited. Nearly back at the car now, mate. Be home soon. I can see the car, Max. There it is. Uh, down by that pole down there. We'll be there in a few seconds now, won't we, pal? So we're back in the car now, just about to head home. That's gonna do it for today's video. We are gonna carry on filming today, but we're, go we're going out, we're going for a meal later, and then we're gonna go and see a local band play, which we're gonna film for you guys, but that's gonna form a later video, probably next weekend. Hope you've enjoyed our little walk and the, some of the dramatic scenes at the top. Sorry we didn't see too much scenery, but the sunrise was kind of nice. I enjoyed seeing that, it was really nice and relaxing. Hopefully it's just as relaxing for you guys on the video as well. One thing I would say, I did point it out earlier, but if you are planning on coming walking up Billings yourself anytime soon, make sure that you're kind of fairly sure-footed and that you've got the right footwear on because it's, it is really, really slippy in parts at the moment, especially coming back down again. That was kind of sketchy <laughs> in parts. So just be careful if you're, if you're planning on having a walk up here anytime soon. With that said, that is it for today. Thanks very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to follow our adventures. Give us a like and a comment. Say hello on our other social media channels. We're on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook as Springy Tales. So come and say hello. We'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.